Not Quite Black and White, written by Jonathan Ying, illustrations by Victoria Ying, read with permission by Harper Collins. Most zebras wear stripes, but this one does not. She much prefers dressing in pink polka dots. <laughs> These penguins look dapper in black and white suits, but one funny fellow has bright yellow boots. Dalmatians are sprinkled with spots of all shapes, but some pups feel braver in flowing red capes. <laughs> Look there, at the beach. See two brother skunks. They're easy to spot and they're matching blue trunks. <laughs> this llama likes climbing up mountains and hills. Her woolly brown scarf keeps her safe from the chills. <laughs> this tiger is fancy, the classiest cat. From the tips of his toes to his tall purple hat. This horse keeps the traffic under control. His bright orange vest shows he's on patrol. This panda likes cooking with sticks of bamboo. His apron is messy with leafy green stew. This cow rides a scooter to bring kids their milk. She stays warm with a coat made from lavender silk. This kitty plays drums and he likes to rock. He keeps the beat with his aqua mohawk. This badger goes on a trip to the moon. The flag he will plant is a striking maroon. <laughs> we might have stripes or we might have spots. Sometimes we are fancy, sometimes we are not. From the darkest of dark to the brightest of bright. We're each pretty special, not quite black and white. The end.
Thank you. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.